Hello you guys, I hope you're all being safe and healthy, healthy. Alright, in today's video I will be reviewing the skincare brand I'm from, so let's get right in. So the whole concept of the brand I'm from is that they are really transparent with the ingredients, use honest materials and are free from a lot of harmful additives. And the name I'm from actually comes from the fact that they show where each of the key ingredient of the product is from so like the honey mask I'm from Jiri Mountain in Korea and they also tell you what percentage of the product is the key ingredient as well which I think is a really cool so I'm gonna go in the order that you apply the product so the first product that I will be talking about is the honey mask so this one comes in a 120 gram jar and is $38 and is supposedly good for all skin types it includes 38.7% of real honey that is the key ingredient and then they do also have other ingredients like snail mucin, bee venom, propolis, and then a lot of nourishing oil ingredients like macadamia oil, sunflower seed oil, she butter, hazelnut oil, and jojoba oil. The texture is obviously very thick. As you can tell, it's not going to fall out of the jar at all. It is like honey, but a slightly more like buttery consistency. So the smell is incredible. Like it is so sweet just smells like pure honey but like also like a little bit caramelly it is a beautiful smell i absolutely love it but i can definitely understand if it is too much for a lot of people it is very overpowering and you can smell the honey when it is on your face like consistently so how to use it is on a freshly cleansed face just apply an even layer using the spatula that they provide and then leave it on from anywhere between five minutes to one hour i don't think i've ever had a mask that you can wear for an hour but it does say that you can wear it for a maximum of one hour and then once you've left it on for your desired time just wash it off with lukewarm water or they do say you can use the spatula to kind of scrape off the mask before you rinse your face so my thoughts is that it is very nourishing it is very rich for me I just felt like it left the stickiness on my face. I could not get rid of it. I felt like it took literally forever to rinse off my face and it was still kind of there. When I did read other people's reviews, a lot of people said it didn't leave any greasiness, which is awesome. Maybe it is just my skin, but I just felt like I couldn't quite get it off. I tried quite a few different kind of time frames. I think the best time for me was probably between five to ten minutes. I really didn't want to leave it on there for long. One time I left it on for an hour and I just felt like my face was so sticky and I also felt like it kind of created a barrier that my other skincare didn't quite seep into my skin after this mask. So personally I am not a huge fan of the honey mask. I think that it can work really well for a lot of people and if you do have dry skin it will like I'm sure nourish your skin very very well but the fact that they say it's for all skin types I don't think so I think if you had an oily skin or breakout prone skin it would be way too much for you as a general mask I was not the hugest fan and probably would not repurchase so the next one is the rice toner which obviously I have is quite a bit of this one comes in a 150 ml bottle and is $28 and it is okay for all skin types so the key ingredient as you probably guessed it is rice extract extract and 77.78% of the product is rice extract. Rice does help brighten your skin tone and also help with elasticity and then other notable ingredients are niacinamide, other plant extracts and adenosine. So again it's a glass bottle, very sleek, very simple and it does have just like a small screw top and then the end of it is just like a little hole. I don't know what you call it. It's just like a little hole. <laughs> so this one is pretty much water thin. As you can see, it is not much thicker than water. When you first get it or have left it there for a while, it is split because the rice is a more opaque white color. So make sure you do shake it before you apply it. The fragrance, honestly, I feel like it doesn't have much. Barely any fragrance for me who has weak weak what do you call it like smell power <laughs> can't smell anything so if you are sensitive to fragrance i think it would be okay for you too so how you use it is pretty simple like a toner on a cleanse face i tend to just apply it directly onto my hand and pat it in i do usually do two layers but sometimes depending on what products i combine it with i do just do one layer and of course you can use it am and pm and every day i love this product possibly my favorite from i'm from so far i felt like it was in Instantly nourishing, glowing, plumping to my skin, and it kind of gave that translucence to my skin, like that glass skin feel. I felt like this toner did that. Even just one layer with 
like nothing else on I felt like my skin was still hydrated and then a second layer and I felt like I didn't really need to use any other products I really did like it and I think it's a good price for what it is I also like to pat it into my cheeks where my pores are a bit more visible and I feel like once I layer it a couple times it does help to minimize the look for my pores on my cheeks as well I would definitely repurchase this I kind of use it on and off with other products but I feel like if you did use it long term it would probably help with the brightening of your skin as well so this is 100% a recommendation absolutely loved the rice toner the next one is a definitely a cult favorite and probably the products that got me interested in mum from in general it is the mugwort essence so this one is 160 ml bottle and $40 and it says it is good for all skin types the amazing thing about this product is that it is a single ingredient product it literally only has one ingredient which is mugwort essence 100% mugwort essence it doesn't have any parabens or preservatives or fillers or anything that's pretty amazing for skincare it is almost water thin although it has like a slightly thicker consistency probably compared to the rice toner it is slightly thicker and it has a bit more of like a slimy feel although once you apply it to skin it kind of just like splashes on so the fragrance is like just a very natural fragrance I guess it could be kind of herbal mugwort is known to be like Korean tea tree but it does not have that strong kind of significant tea tree smell that a lot of Western products would have so if you are kind of like oh I don't really want that on my face it does not smell that strong for me I actually like the smell it feels like you're kind of feeding your skin something really nice and organic and healthy you can use it every day AM and PM after your toner I again tend to just apply it in my palms and directly into my hands I have on occasion just put it on a cotton pad and like kind of wiped across my face with it when my skin was irritated but then end up layering like a second layer just patted into my skin at first I was not as kind of surprised and impressed as I thought I would I was like yeah it's kind of like a toner it's nice it's hydrating but not overly glowy or anything especially compared to the rice toner it didn't give that kind of glowy feel but when I used it on the days when my skin was irritated it definitely made a difference and I get it now when I apply this it just soothes my skin it also has like a slightly cooling feeling and it just like absorbs into your skin straight away and does not leave your skin tight or dry or anything even though it doesn't have that glowiness it just kind of like seeps in and just turtles there and it's it's just nice so on a day when my skin was really irritated I think it was like the day after I kind of like shaved my face and also waxed everything so it was a lot of like inflammation going on I put like three or four layers of this quite a bit but that is all I put on I just put on three or four layers of the mugwort essence and went to sleep the next morning my skin was really soft really calmed down and it didn't feel tight even if it was just one product and one ingredient so after that day i was like okay this might be like kind of like a miracle worker if you do get really irritated or dry or sensitive skin this is probably going to be an amazing product to have in your skincare collection another way they recommend to use it is use like cotton pads to soak it and do like a sheet mask i just use the muji peelable cotton and then soak the mugwort essence in it they're really big so it covers my face really well and if I leave it on for like five minutes or so it does soothe my skin down and also helps with a bit of redness as well which is really nice but I get it now yes like it definitely didn't let me down and obviously I have used quite a bit of it and have been loving it mugwort essence is definitely a recommendation as well so lastly is the ginseng serum this one comes in a 30 ml bottle $29 and is good for all skin types the key ingredient is six year old red ginseng extract which this includes 7.98 percent and then other ingredients include a lot of natural bark and root extracts as well as hyaluronic acid glycerin and adenosine again glass bottle and then this time it just comes in like a simple serum dropper the texture is slightly viscous a little bit thick but definitely still lightweight so I really did enjoy the fact that it was very hydrating and spread really easily but didn't leave any stickiness or heaviness on the skin it does have a kind of earthy fragrance you could say I actually quite like it and don't mind but I did read some reviews where some people said it was too strong it almost smells like 
like an old lady perfume or something like that, which I guess I can understand. So this was the product that I probably used the most of and really did use it every day, AM and PM for quite a few weeks. After using it for a while, I definitely love the texture. It applies and absorbs very quickly. So it's great in the AM as well. It doesn't leave any greasy residue. I think it'll work really well for people who have oily or combination skin. And it is kind of like an anti-aging product. So for those of you who kind of want something anti-aging but have oily skin, it's gonna work really great. So the biggest difference I felt that it gave to my skin was that it gave it a bit more of like an elasticity and firmness and a bit of a bounciness to my skin, which I guess is the intention of this product. But I did not feel like it was a huge difference. As I said before, it is kind of like an anti-aging serum. So if you have slightly more mature skin, it might be more beneficial for you. But for me, it was kind of gave it like a bounce plumpiness. It was kind of just like a light hydrating serum. What is that? It's just my head. Alrighty, well I hope you guys enjoyed my I'm From Skincare review. I definitely love them as a brand. They are also cruelty free and do have vegan products like the Mugwort Essence. I am going to be intrigued with new launches and definitely want to try out their other products as well. Don't worry, I will try the new fig line as well, which Shrena was nice enough to send me the range, but I haven't got around to trying it all yet. So I will update you guys with another video. But definitely these two, huge recommendation, worth everyone to have in their skincare collection. I guess I'll see you guys in my next video. Okay, bye. Mwah.